Royal Darwin Hospital is 450 beds and I think we do about 600 cases a day of various types of imaging. So I take on a patient as my own, I don't just do an x-ray and then send them back. I feel that a patient who comes to our practice is our patient to work out what the clinical problem is. So I feel I'm a detective, I'm a problem solving doctor. We are about one and a half hours from Brisbane, so we considered as a regional practice. We have to try and accommodate our patients so that they don't have to continue to travel such long distances for return appointments. So we do communicate a lot with our referrers to ensure that we can accommodate the patients as much as possible. Many people think radiologists just sit in a room and, and read x-rays all day, but it's, it's uh, far different to that. Uh, I'm constantly interacting with patients, uh, helping diagnose and treat patients. Every day is different. Uh, there's never a dull moment and the technology in this space is moving so quickly that uh, it's, it's really exciting uh, place to work. It maybe doesn't appear uh, in ER and the movies as much as other medical specialties do. And so I think in the main it's very um, behind the scenes unless you're in the medical world. And I guess then obviously radiology uh, is a quite well known specialty because we service just about all of those specialties with their own unique needs for imaging. To become a radiologist is, is quite a journey. After I finished school I did medicine as an undergraduate degree for six years and then I worked as a resident for two years. Uh, and then started my formal radiology training which was uh, five years with a fellowship at the end and then a small uh, stint in the States so all up about 14 years from the time I started to the time I finished. In total that was 15 years of study and training. All up, it's taken me uh, 18 years to get to where I am. We worked out that by the time my 10-year-old uh, son in grade four finishes school and becomes a radiologist, uh, he'll be finished in 2042. So hopefully I haven't scared him off. Even in one case, we have so many sequences, 50 images, 40 images in a sequence, and then there might be 12 sequences, that's in one case, and then you report you know, up to 100, over 100 cases a day. Radiology is the nexus between all of the disciplines of medicine, and we have access to all of the information because we have a high IT infrastructure, so we can put everything together, package it up, and then be able to communicate that clearly to people, to patients and the clinicians. One of the major roles of a radiologist is to uh, be involved with and often drive multidisciplinary meetings. And these are meetings where many specialists come uh, together uh, to review complex cases. Uh, the case will be presented, the imaging will be reviewed, uh, and the surgeons and uh, specialists are able to talk about uh, the patient and what's the best treatment uh, to go forward. I guess what we can do uh, sometimes with life-altering outcomes, the patient may never be aware of us being involved, but recently when I was on call there was a patient in emergency who'd been there for several hours, was otherwise pretty well but had a little bit of abdominal pain and the country site had asked us to do a scan of his abdomen and so that was done several hundred kilometres from where I was and on the scan immediately it was clear that he's, he had a huge aneurysm in his abdomen that was rupturing and from there obviously everything escalated and he was quickly retrieved by a helicopter to uh, the CBD and I guess in that case if we hadn't have done that scan and uh, been involved without a doubt this patient would have died. Radiology is a great specialty and something to be proud of because you have to run a business, you have to look after a large number of staff, you have to respond to your referrers and you have to think about your patients who are your main client so it's, it's quite gratifying to really adapt to all of these changing market forces all the time. It's a very rewarding thing to be involved with, but without a doubt it involves a lot of after hours preparation, looking through the images, giving second opinions on cases, uh, and uh, that I guess is all with the aim of improving patient outcomes, and radiologists are very, very involved uh, in that process. Radiology, I think, will, will change in the future as we get more and more input from technology and artificial intelligence to synthesise data. We'll become more of communicators and collaborators so I can fast track and facilitate virtually any diagnosis in the patient. So I think people don't realise that we are actually integral and the cornerstone of the, of the patient care. If radiologists weren't here, then the clinicians would, we would, we would be lost.